necessarily just us, right? I, but what I wanted to do was I wanted to ask them. I clearly wanted to ask every player, not in a team meeting, hey, shake your heads if you agree. I mean, we're talking every player, individual meeting with the head football coach, tell me how you feel. Because they're the ones that matter, period. The student athletes, safety, well-being, health matter. And when there's any doubt whatsoever, right, I'm going to make sure they understand that we're going to keep them safe and healthy. Just like before COVID, you're going to create a safe environment to practice, to play. When somebody has some type of mental illness, do you have a response mechanism built into that? The emotional part, do you have response mechanisms and, and medical people involved in that? Same with the physical part. So I think when you look at our responses of our football team, of what they were able to say and how they were able to say it, they were just honest of how they felt. And that's all we want in our program is honesty. And, uh, but again, I'm a third of the way through the football team uh, and it's consistent 30 for 30. Not to say that everybody didn't want to play. You know, I, I think that got in the way of saying that people want to put, you know, that being safe was going to have to be sacrificed for playing. Uh, I, don't, I don't think that's how they looked at it. They knew they all wanted to play. I wanted to coach. They know that everybody wants to do that, but not at the expense of their health and safety. And I think Kevin Warren said it best when he said it about there's just not enough data and information for, the, for our conference and for us as head coaches to look at our players from where our areas are. And that's critical to understand too. Where are the conference teams located? Right? I mean, you look around, how does the contact tracing work when you go to states that only can be around each other 10 players at a time? or how the contract tra contact tracing works in their states. There's so much data and information that everybody has to process right now. But again, leadership makes decisions. We've been led in a, an incredible way with Mark Coyle and President Joan Gable, an incredible way, with honesty and transparency through the whole thing. And for us, our players just spoke their mind. 